Hello, my loves. Hello, Taurus. Welcome to Truth. Well, if I could say it, Taurus Truth Tarot. <laughs> Welcome to Taurus Truth Tarot, where we are all Taurus all the time. My name is Shannon Colleen. I am a Taurus Sun and Venus. So this is for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Before we get started, we are going to have just a few announcements. I keep telling you that these will get shorter and shorter, but we're still in January of 2024. So first of all, I want to thank each and every one of you for all of your support, your likes, shares, comments. A lot of you are donating through that little heart uh, below this reading. Thank you. I mean, I'm just bewildered <laughs> at your support. Um, I read each and every one of your comments, so thank you. Thank you, thank you. And as a thank you, um, since we've started this channel about a month ago, uh, I have decided, or did decide, still still doing it, uh, to give half off personal readings or Reiki sessions. So I do personal readings. If you've gotten one from me, please put it in the comments. But there was a little confusion on this, so I just want to be very clear. When you go to book your reading Reiki sessions, there's a link in the description box below. You click on that, it says Lotus Spirit Tarot. That is my other channel where I do all Zodiacs, and it's also the name of my business. So when you get there and you see Lotus Spirit Tarot, know that you are an, indeed in the right place. And then you're going to want to click book now, and there will be many different readings that I offer and Reiki sessions. Choose what you would like and schedule your reading. However, people are confused about the half off. At the booking site, it shows the regular prices. I invoice you, I send an invoice to your email that reflects that 50% off, okay? So don't let that stop you um, because it will be 50% off of what you see. And lastly, because y'all wanted it and requested it, we did a members uh, only here on YouTube there's a little join button underneath this reading. And over there we do a bunch of different readings, specialized readings. But also, the big thing is you wanted to learn tarot. So we are now doing the 78 days of tarots where we go through each card. Um, so if that's something you are interested, click the join button and uh, come join Taurus Inspiration. That's what we've called it, Taurus Inspiration. All right, my loves, with that being said, let's get our overall energy. Divine Source Creator, what is the overall energy for this reading, please? Show us clearly what is the overall energy for this reading. Show us clearly what is the overall. Divine Source Creator, what is the overall energy for this reading? Oh, I thought that was coming out. Divine Source Creator, what is the overall, please? Thank you. All right, my loves. Um... We have here, oh, we have power. <laughs> um, Marie Laveau. Uh, I don't know if you all know this, but I live in New Orleans. I live in the French Quarter. Marie Laveau is a very high, big uh, voodoo priest here. And boy, did she have power. So you are, and I love it, that's the number one here. Okay, so you're stepping into your high priestess, high priest energy, very, uh, uh, very uh, high priestess in the tarot, you know, very much able to know the secrets, knowing the secrets to creating a beautiful life for yourself, right? Um, but I will say this. I will say this here. Marie Laveau was also, yes, power, but she was also grace. She did things with grace, okay? So this is not about the power of, ah, uh, right? It's the power of love. It's the power of um, the magic, the magician, the high priestess. It's the power of grace within you, right? Um, she was known as a, a very astute businesswoman, okay? So it, for those of you who are creating wealth in whatever form, could be your own business, could be working for someone else, this is a good indication that you will be very, very powerful because this is the balance of 
bringing the spirituality that you have now and that you will continue to grow into the uh, into ways of creating wealth, right? There's a balance between the two, right? The spiritual to create wealth and the physical to create wealth. And that can be wealth. It doesn't have to be business. I'm just going to throw this out here. This can be uh, wealth of love, okay, if that's what you're looking for. So I really feel like you have been called to embrace all of these aspects of yourself and to rise with confidence, right? You are much bigger than the day-to-day. -day. We have to do the day-to-day -day stuff, but you are much bigger than the mundane day-to-day -day things. You're meant for more, right? So I feel like uh, a lot of these readings have been talking about that a, a bit because you guys have to step into your confidence, okay? You have to step into your confidence. That's the big thing that I'm getting. You are way more powerful than you ever imagined, Taurus. Like, especially now that we have... Uh, Pluto in the sign of Aquarius. It is Taurus time. There is no doubt. We've been talking about it forever. So if you're having problems with your confidence, before the end of the month, I would book a Reiki session and next to your name put uh, Solar Plexus Chakra. That's where our confidence lies. And the reason I said before the end of the month is because uh, that's when we're doing the half off, right? But it is time for you to understand your power. And a lot of us don't want to do that because then we go down the rabbit hole of, well, I'm no more special than anybody else. Sure you are. <laughs> sure you are, Taurus. <laughs> All right. So let's see what we have in the tarot here. What is the message here, please? What is the message? What is the message? Ooh, that's too many. What is the message, please? Angels, guides, ancestors for Taurus. What is the message? I think you guys are going to really kind of... I think you're about ready to take charge. And because I, I just saw a picture of a bull, right? Just, boom, you know, just going and nothing can stop you, right? Where you've sat in the grass and in the field and minded your own business, right? And just... I'm going to be okay here just, you know, being in the pasture and eating my grass. Like, now you're like, no, I'm full steam ahead. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. So we have the Ten of Scepters here. Um, that is, like, such a beautiful card to have as far as I'm putting the bullshit down. Excuse my mouth, but that's what Spirit's saying. I'm putting the bullshit down. If this does not take me towards my dreams and my goals, it's a general reading, so it's different for all of you, Taurus. If, if my actions are not taking me to my dreams and goals, I will not do them. Okay? So it's like replacing um, sitting on the couch and watching TV with going to the gym. Okay? That's just a simple way of, of putting it. You see what I'm saying? Like, if this is not serving me, I am putting it down with the Ten of Scepters. I'm putting it down. Because this is the card of burdens, right? But we can have self... I don't know what the word is, Spirit. Help me out. We can implement burdens onto ourselves in the form of, you know, watching TV instead of going to the gym of, uh, I don't know, so many different things, right? Eating uh, fast food instead of eating healthy food. I don't know why they're going down that route. Maybe because it's January and everybody joins the gym in January. <laughs> but you are, if it's not serving you, and this is not, a lot of the other reasons to spend other people, other situations, leaving jobs, you know, things like that. This is more of uh, you kind of analyzing what you do, breaking the day-to-day -day habits that aren't serving you. Oh, I like that. Show me clearly. Thank you. I didn't even see that for a second. Yep, look at that. Four of scepters. See what I mean? Like, instead of watching TV, she's meditating. She's visualizing. 
she's looking for the portal into the new realm. She is wanting a new stable beginning here, right? So again, using that time more wisely. Now, does that mean you're never going to watch a TV show again? Well, of course you are. <laughs> but instead of getting off of work and eating dinner, right, and then sitting in front of the TV for four hours, you're going to do better things with your time. Using the magic, right? Visualization is magic. Show me clearly because you want that celebration, right? That's too many. Four of uh, Wands here is about celebration, too, wanting to feel secure and safe. And we can only do that for ourselves, right? So I love it. What do we have here? We've got uh, the Nine of Grails. Loving this. That is the Nine of Cups. This is feeling satisfied. I am using my time to pursue my passions, right? I'm not going to beat myself up. Because I watched nine hours of TV, but I'm also not going to do it anymore because it's not fulfilling. It doesn't fulfill me. So I absolutely am in love with that. And then you have the Nine of Knives. So this is where the Nine of Knives, I know, okay, that's the swords. I know, I know, I know. I know what the traditional meaning is of it. I get that it can be, you know living, you know, in that anxiety and, oh my gosh, and the worry. But I don't feel that with this at all for you, Taurus. Okay? What I feel from this one is I've got my mind clear. I've got my mind clear. I will defend myself as far as the mind goes, right? Where I'm not going to live the same routine over and over again. Because... The Nine of Swords can talk about living in a nightmare, right? However, with this and this tarot deck, I feel more, uh, and the message from Spirit, more like I, I refuse to keep doing the same things over and over again because that is the nightmare, if that makes sense. And it doesn't have to be a huge nightmare, but it's like I'm not getting to my desired goals because, again, that cycle, they keep just showing me the cycle and then the moon cycles, right? And... If you want change in your life, Taurus, you have to make the changes. You have to do things differently. So, wonder, and you're going to defend it. You're not going to, and when I mean by that, it's like, you're not going to fall prey to the old habits coming back, the old routines coming back. You are, you're not going to fall prey to it. Because we can do that, right? But I just think you're, you're done with it. That's too many. Can I have one or two, please? Angels, guides, ancestors for Taurus. Thank you. Yes, can you show? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. See, there's the new beginning. The Ace of Grails, the Ace of Cups. That If that's love for you, then you're dating different people, new people, not your typical norm. Um, because you've learned that, right? You've learned that lesson. You don't need to repeat. A new creative beginning in your wealth, right? There's a new beginning creative beginning in your wealth that fulfills you again whatever that wealth is wealth of health wealth of money wealth of career wealth of love wealth of self-love that's beautiful i absolutely love that and you also have the six of scepters which would be the six of wands which is obviously the victory you will have okay the war with self is over that's what i'm hearing right our biggest competitor, our biggest self-sabotager -sab is self, right? More than anybody else, it's us. So I do feel like you have victory over self. I love this. I absolutely love it. It's so amazing to me how you have this. Um, and yeah, you know what? I wasn't doing reversals, but they had me look at the deck. Five of scepters, which is five of wands in reverse. Inner conflict, done. Right? No more inner conflict. I know what I need to do, and I'm going to take the steps to do it. Right? I'm going to take the steps to do that. Um, so, and then look, we have, so what I'm like here, and then look what else we have. The ace of skulls, right? The ace of skulls is the ace of pentacles. So whatever you 
change here and you have this new creative beginning brings in tangible things for you. Brings in the romantic partner, brings in the wealth, brings in the health, right? So very nice, very nice, Taurus. Let's see what else we have here. Angels, guides, ancestors for Taurus, show us clearly. What is the message? What is the message, please? Thank you. You have triple spiral. I really like this um, because this is the listening to the divine wisdom. Yes. And joyful, joyfully learning life's lessons. Yes, right? So that we can grow from all of this. And look at the bottom, achievement. Win the award, the accolade, the contract, right? You will win if you change, <laughs> right? If you change. So don't forget to like, share, comment. Please join us at Taurus Inspiration. Learn tarot there. Click that join button. And all of my love, light, and blessings to you, Taurus. Until next time.